Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for stopping by. Um, and today I'm coming back with another part of my uh, designer collection of goods. And um, I'm showing you all of my heels. Um, these are not all of the designer shoes I own, um, but I've decided to split them into heels and maybe flats and boots rather than um, all together because it will be a far too long video. I've been buying and selling for about um, eight or nine years now so I've, I've gathered quite a collection of, of um, different things and uh, today I'm sharing all the heels. Um, most of them, I don't think I ever, I've sold one pair of um, heels, they were Jimmy Choo that I got on sale that were um, sparkly and um, the sparkly bit started to fall so that's probably the only designer shoes I've ever sold and I've never bought um, a second-hand designer shoes um, for different reasons for hygienic reasons and also for uh, I, I don't really necessarily need anything that I haven't managed to buy and um, so um, that's the things and um, I've got um, about 15 pairs here and so quite a few so um yeah i'm going to start straight away and i'm going to show them in the order of um me buying them or me getting them up to the newest pair and i'm going to rank each of the pair of shoes um from one to or from zero to ten ten being the comfiest and the soundest investment zero or one being the lowest um comfort zone and the least investment value so yeah um let's begin and i'm going to start with three pairs of maybe not designer designer pairs but they are certainly made as the designer pairs and they are all from lk bennett and and these and these and then i've got the wedges as well they're all on the ground, well, on the floor down here. So I'm going to show you a picture of um, what it looks like. So the first ever pair of higher price point heels, um, they were there, um, these ones, and they are LK Bennett, and uh, they are about three inches, as you can see, and um, they need, that's a bit changing, but apart from that, they are perfectly, perfectly wearable. And um, I bought them, I think in um, York Designer Outlet, I think I got these, um, or maybe in Harrogate, I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah, I got them uh, for about 190, 180 pounds, and they absolutely served well, and um, I've been wearing them most days, or when I used to go to work, and um, I used to go to work in heels, uh, so yeah, and they've been absolutely, absolutely perfect. And the second pair from LK Bennett that I got was were these, and they are perfectly um, balanced black cord shoe. Um, I wore them endlessly, absolutely endlessly. They are about, I would say, seven or eight years old, and they absolutely look um, perfect. Obviously, and um, you can see the signs of wear. Um, in here, but apart from that, and uh, they are absolutely, absolutely fine. And then I've got a pair of wedges, and these I think I got full price, and I got them in Meadow Hall, and and they have absolutely amazing sort of a snake-like um, print or or leather. Um, yeah, very very happy. Don't wear them enough. So all of the LK Bennett heels and wedges I would rank probably seven seven and a half the comfort factor is absolutely amazing they fit quite um large to um to what they would normally uh, fit um i've got quite a narrow feet and um, and they they fit me really like a glove um probably if you have a little bit wider feet i would recommend to size up but yeah i would mark them all like seven seven and a half obviously the investment value um these are still high street but much you know premium high street but the, um yeah so the the 
the resale um, value may not be huge, but they are absolutely, absolutely perfect pair of, pair of shoes. And if, um, I'm going to link similar because I think most of them, actually I think these are still available, but most of them um, sold out because obviously they're old styles, but um, I would definitely, definitely, if you're new to designer shoes or if you're new to designer um, footwear or designer goods, I would definitely, definitely start with LK Bennett. You can go wrong. Um, and then the first proper ever designer pair of shoes were these and they were my uh, birthday present um i think 27th birthday so they are about seven years old now and and uh, these are the pair of um christian labouton ron ron heels and they are three inches um, they obviously have red soles and you can see I've been wearing them quite a lot but not like hugely and um, they um, they have a round toe and and yeah and the leather is still as thick and as unstretchy as it was when I first got them and the comfort factor is about six uh, but because they are not too high and they've got a round toe and um, I can perfectly um, deal with them. The investment value, I think when my husband got them for me for my birthday, were about just over £300. Now they are probably closer to um, £500. And they don't sell Ron Ron style anymore, but they sell similar styles. And uh, yeah, I, I perfectly, I'm perfectly happy with them. I would never resell them. I love how they feel. Um, yeah, they are they, they are statement shoe, and every time I wear them, somebody will point out the red sole. It's just like kind of a given, and they are walkable pair of Christian Louboutin, and I love how they look like with a statement lip. Or yeah, and um, so yeah, absolutely, absolutely happy with the investment. I would mark them mm, six, seven, definitely. Six, seven, definitely. And the next pair is another big one. Um, I got them in Paris and um, it was in January and it was the first day of sales in um, in Chevelle in Paris. And they were kind of a, a big splurge and they are these. So obviously you can't see because it's black couch, but they are a pair of, um, uh, Chanel, you've got the Chanel logo here and Chanel uh, markings um, here and they are a pair of again called shoes they've got a little bit of a platform here and they they are quite high but they are not like ridiculously high so you cannot walk in them and the leather is very very smooth and unfortunately and I've mentioned that in a previous video when I featured them they do uh, mark quite easily but um, they were originally um, I think about nearly 550 maybe slightly higher um, euros and I got them for just over 300 so absolute steal a bargain and would never part my ways with them and um, yeah um, I would give them eight definitely I would give them eight uh, for uh, for everything so these are the Chanel and um, soon after I got to um, go to Bista Village and I got these ones and they were the absolutely steel, probably out of all of my shoes, maybe or Smith as well, out of all of my shoes they were probably the best um, bargain. So they are the Sergio Rossi um, pumps and they are open toe, so they are peep toe and they are about... Um, three inches, maybe slightly less than three inches. They are suede, but they actually wore ridiculously well. And um, they, the heel is really, really nice, um, nice heel um, height. And they are, they are absolutely, you know, dream shoes. And as I got them in Bista Village, and not only I got um, them half price, but they've also um, reduced them further. Um, another 10% or 15% and um, I end up paying I think about £150 for them and uh, yeah I don't wear them enough I have to wear them more and I'm definitely going to make the effort to wear them more and uh, I absolutely love them I think I could wear them for work as well um, now for spring and summer time um, so yeah I would definitely mark them seven seven and a half and um, I don't wear them enough um, so that's the reason but yeah I absolutely love them 
So they are the Sergio Rossi and then um, I got these ones and these ones are probably out of all of the shoes, maybe out of the three uh, favourite pairs, they are one of the favourites um, and they are the um, Saint Laurent pumps. They're extremely high, so at least 4 inches, so about 10-11 centimetres. Um, they are very pointy as well. The leather is just absolutely something else. It is stiff, but it's not as stiff as Labouton and it does give a little bit more. Um, these ones come in variety of colours and factors and, and they have different um, um, fabrics and they have different heel heights as well. Um, yeah, I wore these shoes absolutely to death. Um, they were my occasional go-to shoes. I love the grey. Um, I love how they look, I love how they feel. They are fairly comfortable, obviously after a while wearing such a high heel um, you're going to feel uncomfortable but they are fairly, fairly comfortable um, for what, um, you know, what they are. Definite 8 for me, or 8.5, absolutely, absolutely love these. And they used to retail for just over £300, I think they are much more now as well. And I'm going to link similar. And um, so these are the Saint Laurent Next ones, um, these are kind of out there, these ones, and so these are the pair of um, Alaya sandals, again they are extremely, extremely high, so another 4 inches, um, and these are the sandals, I got them in Dubai, and um, they were um, sales um, in Dubai, massive, massive sales, and I saw them and I just kind of gone away and then come back, came back and then back and forth, back and forth, and I ended up getting them. And they uh, were over £600 on net a porter and I got them for, again, 300 so nearly um, half price. They fit extremely large to size, so, um, these ones, I think they're 37, yeah, 37, and I probably could go even um, smaller than that. They are fairly comfortable because of the strap. These are leather. These ones um, have a little bit stretch to it as well. So yeah, I don't wear them enough, need, need to wear them more, but um, I never in my life thought I would be able to have a liar pair, a liar shoes or, you know, anything from Malaya because you know, it's such an expensive brand, but yeah, absolutely love them, uh, definite seven for me. And the next one, another steel, uh, oh, I think my wedding shoes were first, but I'll show you these first. So these are similar uh, heel height, about um, three inches, and these are a pair of uh, shoes from, uh, they are suede from Paul Smith. I love them, I call them my, they are called IEV, and they are made in Portugal. They are 37 and a half and um, they fit slightly big to size, although normal like Brooks from Paul Smith, I wear 38. Um, they were again reduced and I got them for absolute bargain, I got them from Leeds and um, they are exceptionally well made shoes. Every single detail on them is, um, is you know, super and um, they are not as comfortable as you think they are because I think they're quite stiff in here in that um, region so I, would, I wouldn't give them more than six and a half uh, although they are quite you know low heel so they are not that super comfortable for, for the price and the quality of the finish and um, the color the pop of color I would love to add another pair like these maybe leopard print or pink kind of a statement so sort of manola blinding vibes um, but yeah absolutely absolutely love love the color and so these are the next one the one after that or the one before that were actually probably the most important shoes that you're going to get if you're getting married and these are the Sophia Webster um, pumps and um, they they do need cleaning but apart from that they are not in bad condition look at this ones or the hands on the heel and the heel is just like absolutely statement and I wore them all day and they are uh, fabric they are not leather they are fabric but the leather is on the soles and um, they are very very stiff and they are very very pointy very high as well um surprisingly comfortable surprisingly comfortable i spent the whole day um my wedding day and 
you know, most nights. And um, yeah, they were perfectly, perfectly fine. Um, I got them off Net-a-Porter, it was an American website, I managed to get them slightly cheaper but I, once I saw them I knew that these are my shoes for the wedding and I just, I just could not buy anything else. They um, went really well with my dress and yeah, very very happy, rewore them after that number of times. Would definitely give them eight, maybe eight and a half, but they are really comfortable, really comfortable for how uncomfortably uncomfortable, uncomfortable they look and I would definitely say they are more comfortable. The next ones are these. They don't want to stand up. The next one are these and they are probably the lowest heels I've got and these are the um, Isabella Marant Etoile um, heels and these are in sort of a fairy um, uh, texture and um, I wanted these for quite some time and I saw them on matches and I was just like wow I have to get them. Uh, I do wear them uh, but not like a lot. Um, I, I do like that they are slightly different than they stand out. Again, comfort factor for such a low heel, they are not that comfortable, and I think it's just the way they, you know, sort of that area is shaped. Um, they are quite stiff, and um, they don't give that much. And so I would give them six, maybe five and a half. Um, but yeah, really, really pleased. Um, served me well. Used them loads, loads, and and yeah, very, very happy with them. So, and then the next bargain of the century are these. And um, so these are the Jimmy Choo um, sandals and I got them in Bangkok. There's a theme, every city I visit, I tend to buy shoes. It's just, um, yeah, I got them in Bangkok during sample sale and I got um, them for, you know, a fracture of the price. And they are sandals, I've forgotten what they are called. I think they're called Lottie. Lottie Sanders. They might have been discontinued since, but um, if I can find similar, I'm going to link it as well. Um, yeah, definitely they're called Lottie. And I love the fact that they have sort of a snake print, but it sort of um, changes and um, it reflects the light. They are very comfortable sandals for how high they are. Uh, again, about three, three inches, maybe even more. And they are very, very comfortable. I had another pair of Jimmy Choo's that I sold. Um, and the quality on them wasn't that great. Whereas these ones, and they are, you know, they're much better quality. Size 38, so they fit absolutely true to size. I am between sizes, between 38, 37 and a half, some 37. But yeah, probably won't go higher than 38. Um, absolutely absolutely happy a good seven and a half for me um statement shoe can wear it with dresses jeans um very very happy so these are the um jimmy chew and um we down to last two pairs 18 minutes not too bad so the last two pairs are uh, these ones i've unboxed on this channel and you're probably going to be sick of me showing them so they are the Genvita rossi plexi pumps and um i absolutely absolutely adore them they are probably number two out of their most favorite well number three out of my most favorite shoes uh, which will include the saint laurent my wedding shoes maybe alaya so maybe number four. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I absolutely love them. Comfort, I would give seven and a half, maybe eight. And um, they, the plastic does stretch and um, they do fit small to size. So these are 38. And when I first got them and um, when I first tried them on, I really thought that they are too small, but because they are plastic, they, sort of expands and it gives a little bit more so um so yeah i would definitely say size up at least half a size with these uh but yeah very very happy they come in variety of colors um this is black and military military green i think um i would love to add another pair of maybe like dusty pink uh, to dye for in leather uh, these are suede and um, so yeah absolutely absolutely happy with these and the very last pair again i've unboxed it on this channel and i'm going to link it down below is these ones 
and these out of uh, all of them they are the most expensive well they are not the most expensive um, because some of these are more expensive but I just didn't pay the full price but these were the most I've spent on the pair of heels um, and um, and I still had a little bit of discount as well um, so these are the Rockstud Valentino um, the highest heel height um, they are sandals obviously they are um, in sort of a gold but it's not like gold gold it's champagne gold studs and this is um, pebble leather it's not a smooth leather I didn't want um, smooth leather because I was worried that they will scratch and mark too much um, as because my Chanel are really smooth leather and they tend to do that and I didn't want necessary very shiny one like my Christine Labouton because I was worried that they'll scratch as well so I decided pebble leather is the um is sort of the way to go they are size 38 and um, they fit quite small to size so if they were teeny tiny smaller I would definitely have to have the next size up which is 38 and a half so they fit small to size they are comfortable but a lot of people say they're like super comfortable I wouldn't call them super comfortable they are definitely not more comfortable than my Genvita Rossi for sure I think even the Christian Labouton are more comfortable than one I've got I would give them seven for comfort zone overall investment probably seven and a half and I haven't worn them that much I wore them once twice maybe three four times since I got them and I got them in December so um December I'm sure it was December end of November so yeah I haven't worn them that much but I would definitely say that they are not some people say that they can run a marathon in them I would definitely not say that probably for me and for my feet um, Genevieve Rossi are much more comfortable and I think it's something to do with the, 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 the heel and the, the back of the shoe I don't know and um, I don't I don't dislike them and they are definitely going to stay in my collection for a long long time but um, I'm still kind of on the fence with them uh, I have to give them more more try and more um, attention definitely so yeah that's it that's it for my heels collection I hope you like the video and I hope you um, I hope you've enjoyed it if you've got any suggestion for the further videos or you want to see my full um, shoe collection which probably will be far too long and nobody will watch it um, <laughs> please let me know uh, subscribe and like it would mean a word to me I'm trying to grow my subscribers and um, trying to do uh, videos at least once a week because I work full-time it's not always possible uh, running the blog and, and, and working and editing and yeah just living your life in general but I do my best and yeah that's it for now thank you very much again and I hope to see you soon